ways to reach an inner city kid in any inner city in America, I believe is boxing. My name is Buddy and I started Rock Ministries in 2003. This community is like um, any community that you would think of when you went to a third world country. Uh, you have human trafficking, open drug market, prostitution, you have homelessness, hunger. In fact, there's an epidemic in America with the opioids. This, this past two weeks, we have uh, reversed um, five people from dying. But Rock Ministries is a safe haven and when these kids come in to this ministry, they see that there's hope. A lot of kids are looking for a gym to box, and Rock Ministries is that bait. See, boxing is the means to get the kids to listen to the scripture, listen to the gospel, to hear the word of God. Like when I'm in here, I don't remember what's going on outside. I don't remember the problems I have. I just remember that I'm in here having a good time and I'm learning about God. What makes this gym different uh, is everybody's treated like family, and they said it was free. Buddy's like everything to these kids. Buddy is loving, helpful, he's a good coach, and he's a good pastor. Buddy was a local legend, and he was feared. So he's a guy that, you know, when the things go rough, you want Buddy there. I think he's more than a hero. He's the Apostle Paul to these kids. So please welcome Buddy Osborne. Buddy, Thank so you, nice Joseph. to have Thank you, you here. So much. What you've done in the streets of Philadelphia, because you were not always considered a leader and mentor of young yes, men. Yes. Yeah, I think, uh, Governor, we, we all have a past. And uh, I often say that a story, until, in, until it's a, a, a period, uh, it'll never be a testimony. So uh, I, in my life, uh, many years ago, I was indicted on RICO charges and I was facing many, many years in prison. And uh, 1995, I gave my life to Christ at 8.30 at night. But let's talk about the harsh realities you're facing. You're yes. dealing with kids. They're not just uh, angry. These are kids growing up surrounded by drugs, surrounded by homelessness, yeah. Yeah. Oh. hopelessness. Governor, one of the things that I want to say is that I, 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 I'm amazed to be here. But, but there's, there's so many more greater heroes than me. You know, I mean, there's people that, that dedicate their lives to the mission field. Uh, in, in Kensington, and they give their lives, they leave their jobs, they sell their homes, and, and I feel that, that there's, a, there's an epidemic, not only with the opioids, but there's an epiden epidemic in our country in the, with the urban setting, and we have a mission field in our own countries. There's Kensingtons all over, the, all over this country, and, and, and it's ripe, and, and if, if people would just take a look and say, listen, we have missionaries, in America, mm. and it's needed, Governor, because you have homelessness, you have prostitution, you have uh, sex traffic, and you have, you have kids f a mile and a half from where the Declaration of Independence was signed who have experienced hunger, 50% of the kids have exper experienced hunger pains. You may not think so, but the reason you're here tonight is because to us, you are a hero, and you're changing people's <laughs> lives. And we're so very <laughs> grateful well, to have you here. And I want to say to our folks that if you want to learn more about Buddy and his important mission, and I love that word mission, yes. if you want to get involved, visit therockphilly.org.